All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to quickly talk about some of the news that dropped this morning for this year's Halloween celebration on Global, starting with the new Halloween unit, which has officially been revealed to be Angel Dabura. So there's the event preview. Here is a closer look at the unit itself. There's the SSR, and then of course, TUR as well. So there you have it guys. Angel Debora will be this year's free-to-play Halloween unit and honestly um, It was not something I even thought about, you know, like when I was doing my speculation when I was thinking through like possibilities I was like Yo, number one, I want a pink apron egg Vegeta, you know with the egg or with like a broom or something because um, I just thought that was really funny uh, in the anime, but Number two, I was like, maybe a Super Saiyan Hercule would be cool as well. But this guy wasn't really on my list. He wasn't really on my radar. But I gotta say, I am very happy with it. I think this is a perfect choice. I think it's an amazing choice for a Halloween unit. I just didn't really, it didn't come to mind, right? But um, I'm more than satisfied with it. Hopefully next year, uh, we get that Apron Vegeta, but this year, we got the Tabura, and uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, especially compared to like some previous years where it was just like some random uh, pairings, which was fine, but it wasn't really, it didn't feel quite Halloween, right? Like it didn't feel like it was actually on, on theme, right? But uh, this year, I think Tabura makes a lot of sense. It's also funny, right? Like Angel Tabura is a very, uh, a funny character, so yeah, good choice. I like this one. So that is the first thing. Uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it, by the way. What was your initial uh, reaction or your initial prediction, I guess, and then your reaction to the fact that we got the Deborah instead of whoever you were predicting. Or maybe you did predict Angel Deborah, which would be really impressive. So uh, let us know in the comments about that as well. So from there, we have the announcement of the uh, revamp to, or refresh, or update to the AGL PyCon strike event. You will be getting a token awakening right there, as well as an extreme Z awakening. And uh, I don't believe we have any details about his awakening at the moment here, but uh, it says here that you can get, you know, uh, additional characters or additional medals and stuff like that with other world uh, warrior characters. So that's basically the boost category, other world warriors, which makes a lot of sense, right? So that is the PyCon Awakening slash Extreme Z Awakening right there. And then we also have a new stage of the Extreme Z Area event for the Awakening or Extreme Z Awakening of the uh, Halloween unit from last year, which was 8 or 17. Like I said, you know, like we've been getting some pretty random units <laughs> in, in previous years, but this year, Angel Deborah, I just feel like it's perfect. And uh, yeah, last year's Halloween unit, the set the uh, 17 and 8 and Aider, Androids will be getting their awakening. Why did I say it like that? Android 8 and Android 17, Aider and 17 will be getting their Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, finally, we have uh, an update or an adjustment to the Majin Buu's Candy Mischief event. Um, basically, just adding a boost category, Battle of Wits. And. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, also they adjusted the drop rates and number of drop rewards obtainable in stage one, which I think is where you get the candy Vegito, and then uh, drop rates in stage two as well, which uh, might be for medals. I don't remember exactly, but uh, yeah, better drop rates, boost category, never a bad thing, right? So adjustment to the original Halloween event, um, extreme Z area stage for eight or and 17, uh, Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening for AGL PyCon, and finally, of course, Angel Debora as this year's Halloween unit. So, that pretty much does it for uh, all the news, guys. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about all this stuff, and uh, as far as a release date goes, um, I guess soon, in a couple days. It says the images related to the character will be added on Wednesday the 26th, but we already got, you know, this, so 
I don't know when the actual release date is. I guess they plan to like release this image in a couple days, but we already have it, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for me. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.